Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this is for Capricorn, uh, July 13th through the 19th. We're going to be pulling from the Gods and Goddesses decks to see what blessings you have for the week, Capricorn. What blessings? All right. So we pulled Garuda, okay? And this is the carrier of Vishnu. Oh, we got two. So Garuda is, the blessing here is devotion to God, protection from snakes, security while traveling, while traveling and improved ability to serve God, okay? So the next card we pulled was Balaram, and this is the wielder of the plow. So the blessings you have this week is protection and loyalty, brotherly love and service, spiritual and moral strength, and freedom from the evils of intoxication. All right, all right. All right, so let's see what messages we have. We're going to be pulling messages from the Rider Waite deck. This is the jumbo deck, as you guys can see. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for July 13th to July 19th, 2020. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for July 13th, Ooh. July 14th, July 15th, July 16th, July 17th, July 18th, and July 19th, 2020. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right. Well, four of cups under here. So you guys you could be very disappointed around something. Two cups. So you're very unhappy with a connection, with a relationship, or a decision that has been made maybe in the past. Six cups here. Um, for some of you guys, I do feel like you're unhappy with a relationship. You're unhappy with a relationship. Six cups here. So if you're unhappy with the relationship, six cups, it's time to make some emotional adjustments so that you can be happy again so Monday here Queen of Swords look looky here making the adjustments Queen of Swords talks about um, like weighing the pros and cons looking at the good and bad um, becoming discerning of what's worth you investing your time your energy your thought into and what is not the Queen of Swords is notorious for cutting away things and people that do not serve her okay so I feel like this week you're really in a space of becoming discerning four pentacles here I do feel like you're trying to hold on to what you deem valuable but I feel like you need to with the Queen of Swords and the four pentacles you may need to reassess what you actually see valuable okay maybe you're holding on to something that is not as valuable as you think okay all right so Wednesday we have the strength card here so I do feel like for a lot of you guys this is about overcoming your ego especially if you're holding yourself back um, six pentacles here like I'm telling you there's some ten pentacles. There's something, some commitment here that is imbalanced. Um, I feel like you could be holding on to a foundation that requires some adjustments, that requires some balancing out. I feel like you're going to be in a space of being crowned, or someone is being crowned, and someone could be weighing out this situation with the Queen of Swords. I'm trying to tell you, someone could be weighing out a situation, really finding the strength to make adjustments within their own foundation, because someone feels crowned. Someone feels like it's not enough. Friday we have the Six of Swords, so I do feel like there's some there's some adjustments being made here. Someone feels like it's not enough. All right, I do feel like there's some adjustments being made, and I got Ten Pentacles here. I got Four of Swords with the Six of Swords, Ten of Swords here. I feel like this is the end of a difficult commitment. Empress here, Taurus, Libra energy here. We also got Leo energy here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be in the space. Now, Six of Swords here, moving to the Empress. You could be moving toward a new abundant type of energy. You could be moving in the space or allowing yourself to move forward. Some of you guys could legit be moving, okay? You could be holding on, trying to stay in control of something. I feel like some of you guys could be moving. There could be a, a pregnancy here or something or a baby here, but someone's moving forward, moving. Okay. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, we got the nine of wands. I feel like there's this sort of persistence. Someone's in a space of, I feel like holding on to their desires in regards to something. I don't know if this is a good thing because I do feel like there's some unhappiness within a companionship, but there's really still a holding on and trying to keep things balanced. But it's a crumbing type of energy. So it's it's almost as if you're holding on to a lack to some crumbs. So we got Queen of Swords here. Okay. Why is this Queen of Swords here? It could be dealing with an air sign. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Someone could be making a decision to move forward. Alright, so we have 
the page of wands in reverse someone's not being honest about their desires the judgment here with the knight of swords yes someone could be making a decision to either send some messages or move forward here with the six of cups the emperor and the knight of cups i feel like someone is in a space of really gaining control of some emotions of the past i feel like there is there's a lot of movement you got three knights here so someone is making a decision to make some moves of some sort i'm not sure if it's a happy decision because queen of swords when she make decisions she's cutting fucking heads off so four pentacles here i feel like someone could be in a space of guarded really trying to hold on to what they deem valuable why is this four pentacles here yeah we got the seven of wands in reverse i feel like there's no fights someone doesn't have any like there's a lot of resistance here there is a lot of resistance here but I feel like the resistance is because six wands here, ten swords. I feel like some uh, someone needs to embrace the end of ruins, the end of difficulties. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an opportunity here, but you're holding back. I feel like you're holding back, very much resisting. I feel like someone's resisting an opportunity. You have, you see how this Ace of Pentacles is on the head? You're blocking anything from coming in. You're blocking anything from coming in in your heart. Even within your extremities, you're blocking anything. So there is an act of resistance. For some of you guys, this has to do with pride. Um, or there needs to be an adjustment to the energy because someone needs to be in the space of embracing the end of difficulties and stop resisting, um, stop holding back. Strength here. I feel like this is about finding the strength to make some adjustments, to move forward allow something to grow strength here with the fear of wands finding the strength to put some things in alignment queen of wands i feel like you're underestimating yourself this combination of cards has been coming out all day so i feel like you're underestimating yourself you're not trusting your emotions not trusting your beliefs some of you guys may have made an unwise choice and it's like finding the strength to put things in motion so that you can you know i guess make the best choice for yourself we got six pentacles here so this is for wednesday i think or this is for thursday yeah. So we got the six pentacles here. Seven of cups. And this is in reverse. So for a lot of you guys, you're really, I feel like you're investing. This is an imbalanced illusion. I feel like, and I'm going to be real with you. I feel like with the seven of cups and six pentacles, this seems like there's a foundation that isn't real. Um, it could be an imbalance. Like if you're in a relationship and you're you're being crumbed or either you're crumbing someone it's an illusion um the foundation is an illusion the foundation needs to be adjusted with the queen of cups here could be dealing with the water sign could be dealing with a mother figure there's a lot of illusions around this but with ace of wands someone's taking action and extending an olive branch but it's a, it's an illusion it's an illusion and if that's not the case, someone may have fear of making adjustments within a relationship because they're confused about really what they want. All right. So we have the Six of Swords here. Why is the Six of Swords here? We have the Five of Pentacles. So someone is moving forward. Someone is releasing their concerns. Someone is moving forward here. Temperance here. Star energy here. Someone feels as though it's time for them to gain what they want. Someone's seeing the bigger picture. I feel like someone was at a crossroads previously. There's no more crossroads. I feel like someone's moving forward. Whatever this is, it's not enough. It's it's not enough. We got the Empress here. That's Taurus Libra energy. Why is this Empress here? So we have the Knight of Cups. There could be an offer to start something new. Ace of Cups, a new opportunity here. I feel like someone is really claiming a truce and investing in works in order for something to grow. Queen of Pentacles here. could be dealing with the Taurus. All right. So Nine of Wands here. I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this could, whatever is happening, it's going to require some work. I feel like there's an adjustment emotionally that's being made. Why is this Nine of Wands here? So we have the four of wands here, four of pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to have to stand firm, be persistent in creating changes, cutting away energy. Some of you guys, you're cutting away some sort of energy, making positive changes, will of fortune. There's a change that's happening. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, the change is you taking a leap of faith and committing to what it is that you actually want. But it is going to require you to be kind of cutthroat with someone so you're going to have to speak your truth and it doesn't it doesn't mean that you're going to have to hurt anyone's feelings but i do feel like that truth has to be spoken in order for adjustments to be made so let's see what guidance we have moving forward what messages what guidance do we have for capricorn salmon rising venus moving forward can you give me that what messages what guidance do we have 
Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, you want for it. You hear me? Come give me this card. All right, so we got shape shifting. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be changed. There's not could be this something you're changing. Um, instinct, you're following your instincts and releasing something. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a lot of magic that's coming from this because you're really looking at a situation from a compassionate perspective. I feel like for a lot of you guys, your heart chakra may open up and I feel like there's a healing that takes place. So within that healing, I feel like you're going to start seeing things from a different perspective. It's going to, your instincts are going to change and you're going to release something that is not within the best interest of you in order for you to move towards something that is. This is all that I have. Until next time.